What up? This is your boy Ryan Rap Beats. How's everybody doing? Today we're gonna be DTFing some hats here. Let's get to it. Man, I had to change the battery already. I think I have to buy new batteries because this thing is, I have like six batteries and they're not lasting long. I mean, it's GoPro, they don't last long, but I think they're dying on me. Anyways, so we're gonna be putting some DTF on these hats. Well, we're gonna test them anyway, that's what we're doing. We got this one, uh, show you what we're doing. We got this one, that's uh, trucker hats. It's a five panel, meaning that it doesn't have the, uh, the seam in the middle here. Sorry, I'm trying to grab it with one hand. And then the other one is another trucker hat, but it does have the seam in the middle, so you can see there. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Uh, let me get this thing ready. So if you guys are wondering, we do have heat press here. Uh, this is the Heat Press Nation um, hat press. Not too fancy with this hat press, it's just a hat press. It's not like the IQ or anything like that, so it's just hat press. So we're gonna get, um, this thing plugged in and turn on. We're gonna have it at right now set at 290. That should be good. 290, 15 seconds. Cool. 290 at 15 seconds. And then while that's warming up, let's get uh, what we're going to be pressing on these hats. Alright, I think I found some stuff that we can press the chair and back. So we got these two. Which is whoops, the hustle never stop. This is like one of the, uh, the samples you guys get from me. You guys order samples, and then the logo here. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm going to. Yeah, I think I'm going to. Oh, we're there already. All right. So what I'll do is I'll put this one here. Right. And I'm gonna put this one here. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Alright, so let's go find the center. Let's get our heat tape. There we go. Firm pressure. Firm pressure. So I'll do is I'll let it cool down for a little bit like this hat from Johnny HG I'm not sure what he did on this one um, it might be it might be DTF I'm not I'm not sure it could be DTG Johnny HG if you are watching this what you do on this hat what you do on this hat All right let's go ahead and start lifting this thing off all right, I already saw some areas here that doesn't look good. All right, I knew this was gonna happen. Let me show you guys what we did here. Can you guys even see? Oh, you guys. Camera, get a closer look. So if you guys look where the seam is, this is the seam. So it's all messed up. I mean, it's on there. Don't get me wrong. It's on there. So this so this one actually it's not the has fault it's not the DTF fault it's the the press I have here um, usually what happens with my press is anything with a seam it doesn't get a good uh, adhesion so it'll bow up here so that's the reason for that um, it just didn't stick that good or great tech I should say but on the other ones that did stick, see look, it is on there. It is on there. Yeah. So, once again, because of the seam, my heat press did not um, make the uh, uh, the hat flat on the thing. Which I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Um, I just wanted to confirm that that's what it is, and that's what it is. Because I, I don't use this thing for any hats. I use this thing for neck labels. 
and knowing the fact that I know um, the seam is not going to um, the hats with seams are not going to be good with this that's what happens but we're gonna move on let's go get the other one with the one without the seam all right so we got this one right this thing has a taller crown by the way compared to this one you guys can see that's a taller crown can you guys even see it has a taller crown so crown meaning is from here to here So this one should be much better. All right, I think we got it. I think we got it. Go ahead and pre-press that thing. And let's hope for the best, all right? It is. Now, if you guys are wondering, this thing is pressed down all the way down. So we'll see. We'll see. I have hopes. I have hopes for this one. Okay, looks good. Let it cool down for a little bit. Yeah, it looks, it looks like we got an even. Uh, pressure here There it is Let's go ahead and press it one more time To ensure that this thing is on there Let's turn this thing off All right Show you guys Show you guys there it is here it is. It looks good. Um, again, if you guys are wondering, put you guys down. If you guys are wondering if it's sorry, got all that. But I'm using my nails, trying to scratch it off. It's on there. If you can see close, see the fabric. It's embedded in the fabric, so it looks good. Again, compare it to this one. Again. It might just be my heat press, but yeah, or the hat, I don't know, but the seam here is not that great just because I know this guy is is not friendly with the seams, but it is on there though, so I'll let you guys know it is on there. See? It's just, it did not get a, a good firm press on the seam here. Dope looking hat. Pretty dope. I like these hats better because it has a taller um, crown than this one. This one is like I think a, maybe a three inch crown compared to this one. Yeah anyways so for those of you who are asking can DTF be pressed on a hat? Yes it can. Yes, it can. Just don't mind the seam. Again, if you have a hat, if you have those IQs, those are like money. Those are money. But um, I got this hat press from Heat Press Nation. I know it's not that great with seams. I usually don't do any anything with seams on this hat. I mean, on this heat press. So as you see, it works. The point of this video is, does it work on hats? Yes, it does. But again, let me let me just say that because of my equipment of my hat press, that it did not turn out great on this one because of the seam. It's just an equi equipment failure. Can I say that equipment failure? But other than that, it will stick on there. Yeah. With that said, like, subscribe, leave a comment below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.